What is going on everybody? How are you today? My name is Mike and today we are not going fishing but we were just fishing not too long ago in the ice cold northern Michigan uh, right on the river. We uh, hiked a few miles and then uh, we went and fished the dam. It was pretty fun. We learned a lot but uh, no fish capitalization. So uh, we're here in the house today because it's super cold out there where the tackle wall usually is and uh, I don't feel like heating it up so here we go let's do an unboxing all right all right everybody how are you doing so what we have here is a six cents super six sack like I said, we have a six cents super six sack. We are gonna unbox this today. Uh, it comes to your door monthly if you so choose. Uh, you can cancel it anytime if you want. Say you didn't like it anymore for some odd reason and you're a crazy person, you can cancel it. But I don't know why you would because this is probably the best subscription sack out there when it comes to bass fishing gear and just fishing gear in general. So don't cancel these, you're crazy to do that. Um, and if you want to get your hands on these, just go to sixcentsfishing.com, go to their uh, Super 6 subscription tab, and you can find these there. There's only one, the Supremium Sack. And uh, if you use code MGF Super 6, you can save $10 off your very first sack. So that's taking something that's usually, I think, like $37, $38, and turning it into $26, $20. I'm gonna say $37, $38, $27, and uh, you get over a $50 value in here. There's over $50 of gear and lures in here. So uh, yeah, and they're only premium, high quality, six cents lures, so you really can't go wrong. But if you see anything in the sack where you're like, dang, I really want that, go to sixcentsfishing.com and use my code MGF10 save 10% off all those separate items. Let's get into what's in here. Let's open her up. Clearly we have a red six cents fishing sack today. You guys see any goodies in there? What do you see? I don't know. Sounds like a lot of hard bait. I'm super excited about this month so let's crack into it. First off, Ooh, we got a Swank 77. This is a really, really cool, uh, it's a really cool crankbait. If you've never seen one of these today before, uh, the bill on this is like an L. Uh, these are really good uh, for fishing around grass or through grass. That uh, unique bill design helps it rip out of grass and go through grass and cover really, really well. Um, I really like the Swank 77X. It has got probably my favorite crankbait profile. The body reminds me of the Movement ADX. It probably is pretty much the same as the Movement ADX, my favorite crankbait. So that is in Wild Lava Crawl, that unmistakable Wild Lava Crawl color. I mean, look at that paint scheme right there. You cannot go wrong with the Six Sense Fishing paint schemes and then as always sharp black nickel hooks they literally they grab on everything and they never let go um, sometimes they grab on my hands when I'm doing this and I get a little bit afraid put that back in the box that is going on the tackle wall Next up, let's see what we got here. Another hard bait. I'm not looking. You guys look. Oh, yes. We got a Provoke 106X jerk bait. Um, these are the best jerk baits out there, really. Uh, I, I don't fish jerk baits often. When I did, I had a hard time with them. I started fishing one of these in the Bloodline color, and I got like a ton of bass in one day in March when it's super super cold and windy so that's the Provoke 106X jerkbait uh, that's the suspending and that is in 
Threadfin Shad. That is a beautiful, beautiful, natural shad imitation, bait fish imitation. You cannot go wrong with that. And by the way, those jerk baits are half the price of uh, a lot of high end jerk baits out there. So you're paying like 10, 12 bucks for something that probably costs 20, 25 dollars uh, in any, any other market. So next up, another hard bait. What do we got here? Looks like we got a Thud 70 half ounce lipless crankbait. Man, that color is freaking sweet. Spring bluegill. Yes. Uh, the bass around here really love those bluegill and natural colors because that is the main forage. And man, does six cents have the bluegill colors dialed in. I mean, just look at that. That is the thud, so I think it's the, the one knocker. Just one really loud knocker. These lipless crankbaits are probably the best out there. I mean, just between design and paint jobs, I mean, freaking amazing. I've caught plenty of fish on the six cents lipless cranks, and uh, I'm excited to use this color. I mean, they even got the red on the uh, the ear there. Super sweet. Next up, another hard bait. What do we got? We got a Munch 40. Are you kidding me, man? That is a new bait from Six Sense Fishing. A new crankbait. I would consider it a new finesse crankbait. It's kind of got like the uh, Movement ADX body, just like smaller. They finessed it. I'm super excited to try and use this Munch 40 because, uh, uh, again, I love that Movement ADX body profile and they just made it into a smaller finesse like crush 50x uh, size crankbait so same bill a rounded square bill as a movement 80 so super shallow diving i'm excited to use this cannot wait for spring i cannot wait for spring i cannot wait for spring how many times can i say that and that's again in that boiled crawfish color they kind of got a cold water theme this month they're really looking into the, the cold water, cold weather stuff lately. I wonder why. And next up, we've got a Divine Hybrid Jig. And one of my favorite jig colors ever. They put pretty much just all amazing stuff in here. And a lot of it is my favorite. So uh, That's in Cajun Crawl. That color is freaking sweet. Let me show you. 3 8 ounce jig here this um, you might consider this a dark watercolor because of the chartreuse and then the neon orange and then the black and blue top with the black there but that is the hybrid jig uh, I use this in clear water and then I also use this in like murky water and dark water obviously but this works just as well in clear water I don't know why they they just freaking love this color so uh, I don't know if they're seeing that char chartreuse and orange or or what, but they freaking love it. And uh, yeah, that's a good jig color if you're ever looking for any different color jigs over your like standard. You want to change something up, add a add a little bit more to your dark water um, jig color. Add a little bit of variety. This is the color you want to go with, just to give them something different. And we got some ox flipping hooks. These are probably my favorite hooks out of all the hooks they make is the ox flipping hooks. These are super cool de um, designed. Did I say that right? These are designed super cool, um, super amazing. The idea is that when a fish goes to bite this, this hook is going up straight into their mouth. It does not take much for this hook to go through some plastic and into their mouth um, I don't know the way you rig this up I can show you guys I think I have some videos 
and explain briefly how to rig this up uh, with a stronger crawl or a prawn. There's, they're laser sharp and they go straight through the plastic and they're completely weedless when you do it. It takes zero effort at all to drive this through the plastic and into a, um, a fish. So, I don't know. That's why I love these flipping hooks and I have multiple packs of them. Last but not least, yes, some stroker crawls. You can never have enough stroker crawls and we got that in a super, super amazing color. Green pumpkin juice. I think last month we got the fun in green pumpkin juice, if I'm not mistaken. You can leave that in the comments and let me know. Let me know. But this stroker crawl and green pumpkin juice. This is such an amazing color. And I was watching uh, Justin Royal's unboxing. He said the there's a new plastic pour to these, and they definitely they definitely felt feel different, feel more durable, feel more springy, and uh, they feel like they're gonna have more life to them. They smell better, so I don't know. I think they're gonna do a lot better. That is the green pumpkin juice stroker crawl. Uh, I really like putting these on the back of a, of a jig. I don't know, if you've never put one of these on the back of a jig before, uh, these kick off a ton of water and add a ton of movement to your jigs that uh, fish are just not used to seeing. So this is a fantastic bait. If you need something a little bit different, that's what Sixth Sense is all about. Adding these little minute changes, adding a difference to your presentation so you can catch more fish. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that one, and I hope you weren't too bummed that there wasn't a tackle wall behind me. I just, I don't want to be cold anymore. I've been cold for most of the day today. Um, I took a really warm shower just to heat the bones back up, to heat the skeleton back up. Um, but yeah, I, I don't want to be cold anymore. So we're in the house today for that unboxing, and I really appreciate it. If you would leave a comment, tell me what you liked and what you didn't like, and then uh, you know hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, I think over half of you who watch the videos are not subscribed, so I would really appreciate it. We're uh, heading towards that 400. We want to hit that 400 um, eventually in time. That'd be super cool uh, if we can't do that by the end of next year, or if not sooner. Even more amazing without you guys. We don't do this awesome stuff. So again, hit that like button subscribe leave a comment and uh yeah i'll see you guys on the next one and don't forget to explore for fish